<laughs> it's actually quite common for an idiot like you. Where's your face? To drop your phone in water. What's up guys, Benji D here from Get Fix, and today I'll be teaching you how to repair any water damaged phone. Now, your stupid ass, I mean, <clears throat> your smart self, you were sitting on the toilet. I'm not gonna judge you, I'm not sure exactly what you were doing on that toilet, but keep it to yourself. Anyways, you were sitting on the toilet, correct? Yes. Browsing through Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever occasion may be. And all of a sudden, your phone drops in the water, aka the toilet bowl. Well, after you move aside the that you probably took, you want to grab the phone as quickly as possible and set it on a towel. Do not attempt to turn it on. What you want to do is run over to your local Walmart and grab 91 to about 98% rubbing alcohol. Next, grab a bowl and then pour the solution into that bowl. Just like this. The next step is actually pretty complicated, but what you want to do is figure out what model your phone is. For example, the name of this phone is the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. Now, if you want to know what I did to the screen, you can watch this video here. But anyways, this is the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. And if you want to figure out how to tear it apart, you do want to go on YouTube, type in the phone's name, which is Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, followed by Teardown. And then you'll see a video that shows you how to take apart the phone. Next. You want to locate something that looks like this, or this, or this. This is called the motherboard. It is the central processing unit of the phone. It is what processes all the information that comes in and out of the phone. What you want to do with the motherboard is put it in the solution carefully. Make sure it is completely submerged. This next step is pretty straightforward. You want to leave the motherboard inside of the solution for about one to two days, or until the solution completely dries up. If you want to reuse the solution, Simply open up the bottle and pour it right back in there. The isopropyl rubbing alcohol will absorb all the water inside of the small components that the rice method cannot get because the rice method doesn't work. Let's be honest. How the hell is rice going to absorb water through a physical phone? That just doesn't make any sense. Even though rice is absorbent, that's not possible, especially not with these small components in the motherboard. Isopropyl rubbing alcohol is liquid, so it is versatile. You can pretty much get into all the nooks and crannies of this motherboard and reach everything. That pretty much wraps it up for today, guys. Like this video and subscribe if it helped you in any ways. Anyways, guys, it's been GD here from Get Fixed, and I'm out. Peace.